All right, welcome, welcome everyone. Is the microphone on? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. So, all you lucky men and women, people, you, you people, get a nice little bonus video from me today because I wanted to take a three day weekend. You know, I'm getting old and getting slow. You know, I need my rest. But anyway, it turns out that uh, Sphere has finally had their correction because they were like the one Titano fork project that was like literally <laughs> kicking everyone's ass and uh, everything else was going down, including Titano, but not Sphere. It just kept going up and up and up. So anyway, uh, I decided because uh, I think, let's see, right now, and I'm going to... I'm not gonna, I mean, normally I will ramble about the other stuff because that's important, but I'm making this video specifically for the Sphere community, so that's why I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, holy shit. One point. Well, now I'm actually curious. This is all, uh, wow, $62,000. Okay, I need to set this to. Oh, this is already set to four hours, all right? I guess I could set it to. Hold on, let me see. Because uh, if you have. Because unless you're living under a rock. I mean, Sphere is obviously having a correction. Yeah, I got it. Uh, so let's see. So he sold 1.2 million. Uh, you... God, this is very annoying. You have abandoned Sphere. Because this is Ticket Sphere for the Sphere Games thing. I actually don't do Sphere Games even though I want to because I want to use the in-house... Uh, thing whenever that comes out or I may not even care at that point because I'd rather actually just keep my sphere <clears throat> I don't know um, but with that being said you know I, I'll worry about that later okay oh, okay so people are actually still panic selling right now so anyway uh, you know I'm just making a uh, video just for this uh, it's actually also because usually when something like this happens it's also pretty good traffic you know on YouTube so obviously I need to grow the channel aggressively, well semi aggressively. So I mean, so you know, it, it helps everyone and myself too, right? It helps reassure everyone that's in Sphere, and of course it helps me rank for the keyword Sphere Finance and Titan on you know whatever cryptocurrency panic, because because people really only care when something goes down, which means you lose, right? Because it's called myopic loss aversion, right? People care way more about losses than they do winners, specifically uh two and a half times more caring at least right so for example if you're up a thousand dollars in say sphere well then you're you, you feel pretty okay right thousand you're up a thousand dollars but let's say that let's say you that one thousand dollars then you lose a thousand dollars so net net nothing's changed in a way right the price is you know i mean so you basically start you're at where you started before but you're going to feel like you lost $2,500 at minimum. That's called myopic loss aversion. There was already scientific studies done on this. And of course, that's why corrections and panics like we're having now, really overall and really titano forks, that's why this th these things just are insane, right? And it's not just Sphere or titano. It's like that in every market, real estate, right? Stocks, especially. It, it, it's all the same psychological, emotional BS. So anyway, so I, w I was reading the Discord chat for Sphere for a while, and yeah, from what I can tell, I think people are blaming the most recent AMA that Sim did. I don't actually go to the AMAs because, like, I'm like I just read the uh, I just read the announcements. Uh, so with that being, man, I'm looking at all those giant numbers. Hold on, I, I need to look at this. But anyway, apparently uh, when Sphere version 2 comes out, the APY will be lower. So, yeah, he still has his Sphere, 480,000. You sold one-third. Yeah, so some people are still... Yeah, so I'm seeing the exact same behavior that I see in every other Titano or Titano Fork type of dump. Hmm. I love making my own carbonated order. It's so much cheaper. I, I love it. I love it. Uh, so with that being said, I lost my train of thought, unfortunately, but I know I was saying, what the hell was I saying? I, I hate when I do that. I hate when I do that. And I have to drink because my throat is getting whatevered. And then I get distracted by all this price action. 
All right, well, I'll start over, but oh, now I kind of remember. Yeah, so anyway, version 2 Sphere apparently is going to have a lower APY or something about sustainability. I mean, I actually can't tell because everyone's kind of still, oh, let me check the, let me read the Discord right now. That's a funny looking, no, that's a bear. Yeah, I mean, I just, I just see like a lot of, uh, yeah, I mean, Sims right now trying to hold down the fort to reassure everyone in the Discord, so that's why I don't want to really bother him here. Also, he was, he also offered to give me the graphics for Sphere, but uh, he obviously just forgot because obviously everyone's nagging him right now. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, this channel doesn't really rely on. Like, that's actually a conscious choice that I make. Like, I just do whatever, right? Because I want this thing to be as authentic as possible, right? Because I'm all about the honesty because that's all I got. Also, it's also uh, less work, right? <laughs> and I'm always about doing less physical work. So, uh, so anyway, so that seems to be what it is. But, you know, on a fundamental level, I mean, Sphere is still vastly the superior project. I mean, if anything, it should, uh, if anything, I, don't, I wouldn't call things Titano Forks anymore. I actually call, would call them Sphere Forks, right? Because at this point, the alpha male dog is actually still Sphere. Right, because Titano, I mean, I guess they're, I mean, according to this, their market cap for Titano is 3.84 billion. Sphere is 450, mil, uh, 450 million, but these are not actually accurate, so I think I'm going to have to check. Let me actually see who's actually better. Um, what, was the, what was their website? Yeah, I haven't even used Titano in like a million years. Okay, their market cap is 126.55 million, so that's Titano. Sphere is 132 million, about well, a little under. But now we're having the correction. Yeah, so I was right. So Sphere was officially better than Titano. And you may have noticed that I actually removed Titano from my playlist. Because uh, for me personally, it's I've always been too late to Titano, which is why I'm glad I have Sphere, right? <laughs> Right, because I missed the boat on Titano, but I obviously didn't miss the boat on Sphere. Right, I was actually limited by how much money I had at the time. Otherwise, I would have maxed out my buy on the you know first whitelist. Right, so and of course, if I did that, I wouldn't tell you how much I bought. I would just simply tell you, hey, I bought a lot in the original original whitelist. I'm doing very well with Sphere. So yeah, you know, that, that's how I hide because I don't actually tell you how much money I have for obvious reasons. So. So yeah, so I mean, Sphere has always just been better than Titano by far, and they're obviously a much newer project. So, you know, so even with this current correction, I mean, still pretty much a little bit above Titano, right? Now, of course, now here's the thing. The reason why I have Titano's chart open is that they got the same problem too, right? I mean, look, like this thing is uh, down about 66%. <clears throat> and this is the part of the video you really want to pay attention to, so... I mean, I already did the math. I'm going to double check this. Oh, God. I have to do it this way. Yeah, I got to do it this way. 11.37. Okay, oh my God. Uh, all right. This is, this is how we're going to figure out what the bottom is going to be of this correction. Because that's what this is. This is a correction. All right. I mean, I'm not saying that just because, you know, I'm friends with Sim. Well, maybe, but... But no, it's because fundamentally, you know, the project is sound, all right? And I haven't even gotten the fundamentals of this yet. So first things first is address the stupid price action because everyone's fucking bitching about it right now. Uh, one, three, seven, three, okay, times uh, points 33 because we're, we're talking about a 66% drop. So. so the absolute bottom price of this of sphere should be around 3.75 cents, which sucks obviously but i mean you have to look at it this way sphere started basically as 0 0.001 and it's gone basically straight wait, no this is titano all right god these things all look the freaking same to me which is actually a good thing there we go i was like wondering why does the chart look so weird all right so basically uh sphere I mean, we have to actually really count the original whitelist. So the original, original whitelist, which I got, I was 0 0.001. So we go from 0 0.001 straight to the moon. Look, there's not even any corrections here. Not really. All right? These two giant red, scary red, these scary red candles is kind of was, had to be coming. All right? It's just a matter of sooner or later. 
Obviously, if I had a magic wand, I would just make it so that there would never be giant red candles. But that's just not how free markets work, all right? So, uh, now that being said, people are... I mean, some people get scared off probably by the two red candles, not much you can do about it. But other people have actually been saying they really want to buy Sphere. So they're kind of going to kind of slowly go in. Now, the problem is because this is pretty extreme, people are still probably going to hold off, right? But if we actually do drop 66%, that's the golden ratio in technical analysis, because that's exactly what's happening here. Uh, yeah, it could drop as low as 3.75 cents. At this point, right, 3.75 cents, hopefully it doesn't go that far. But if it does, you're probably going to see a lot of resistance because at that point, it, it's like, okay, it's like this is way oversold. Because what do I always say in my videos, right? What does Greg Manorino always say? Markets always overreact, right? It's the same shit here in stock markets. And it's especially the same thing here with the U.S. bond yields, right? I just finished the Greg Manorino video. And U.S. Treasury yields are actually going to settle above 3%, right? Or at least hopefully it will. And then we'll be back to business as usual. So, so the reason why cryptocurrencies are down a lot is because, again, as I said last time, except for those of you who are new, and we're actually good at jumping ahead, but I want to try to keep this video short, right? This is actually the one, this is the primary determination of what happens in stock markets throughout the whole world and cryptocurrencies. Anyone who tells you otherwise, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about, okay? All right, I, get, I take my advice from people who manage multi-billions of dollars, all right, with fucking bees, all right? Sim Sala, funny enough, Sim, all right, I just call him Sim, all right? He's managing now a multi-billion dollar project. I, I consider Sphere a multi-billion dollar project. Okay, I'm going to move the fucking Sphere chart to the first tag. I keep clicking the Titano chart. All right. Oh, I can't see because my stupid camera. All right. On the upper right corner. All right. I consider I consider this a multi-billion dollar project. Like, you know, I, I don't... I mean, now it's down, obviously, but when it goes back up, you know, the, the number is going to go back up, too, by a lot. So, you know, like... We know what we're doing, okay? That's that, that's the point of what I'm saying, all right? And more importantly, we know why we know we, what we are doing. So anyway, today is April 17th on a three-day holiday weekend. So that's extra pressure, a lot more extra pressure on crypto. Because I didn't even know it was Easter, right? Until, oh, there's nothing open on Friday. So the Federal Reserve meeting isn't for another two and a half weeks, specifically... May 4th, which is three Wednesdays from now. So the markets are already pricing in a rate hike. So we know it's going to probably be at least 25 basis points or a quarter of a percent. But some people are actually thinking it might be half a percent. So that's why you're seeing these pretty crazy gyrations in the bond markets, which of course are affecting stock markets and of course crypto. Because crypto, like the tech sector, right, and the NASDAQ for us American dweebs, Right, the Pegas, actually, that was the word I'm thinking of. Uh, these are very rate sensitive, right? So when you see these 10 year, when you see these US Treasury yields, especially that 10 year yield go up, I mean, that puts a lot of pressure on crypto, all right, and tech stocks. That's just the way it is, unfortunately, all right? Remember, like for those of you who are new, there is a reason why I ramble about other things because you have to look at the big picture. You can't just ape in the sphere, even though that would be nice <laughs> for some of us. Right, you have to look at the overall big picture. All right, because let me tell you this: no matter how good a project is, right, you know, not just Sphere, but any other project, if this U.S. 10-year yield suddenly jumps to 10% instead of 2.82%, we're talking about economic Armageddon. All right, people, are, countries are going to start launching nukes at each other. All right, it's not just going to be Russia and the United States. All right, like that's how catastrophic it's going to be, and it's obviously going to affect everything. So that's why you want to keep track of stuff like this. Or just watch my channel. So, so that's the uh, worst case scenario for Sphere. I mean, you might as well just accept it just so you can get the disappointment over with. These are very normal. And obviously, I've been telling everyone in the Elite Discord that Sphere, I think, is going to go to like 50 cents to a dollar. All right, because fundamentally, it does support this. Now, I have to recalculate that because I didn't actually know, because obviously, I don't listen to the AMAs. Right, I just rely on the uh, Discord announcements. Now, I did not know that the API is going to go down, so I would have to refactor, you know, some calculations. But I'll just wait and see what happens because I don't know when Sphere version two is coming out. So, I mean, 
I don't know. What does that mean? I mean, does that mean Sim has to like take a snapshot of everyone's coins and then airdrop us the version two tokens? I mean, I guess I'm guessing that's what he has to do, right? Yeah, but obviously Sim's a really smart guy, so yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. So, so before I move on to the good part of this, right, which is why I have the Titano page open. And that's good for people who are in Titan, which is probably most of you. Uh, Sim and I, if you don't know, we used to be on the policy team of um, a project called Metaverse Pro back in December when Olympus Dow forks were very hot. And then now they're, then of course the thing crashed and it became congruent on Ethereum, which I still have my stupid shares in. Because, you know, remember when I tell you that I lost all my money in Metaverse Pro, I'm down 60,000. Now it's a little less, right? Unrealized, because I haven't actually taken the loss yet, because obviously I need congruent to keep going up, right? They're, like, I learned a lot of lessons. I constantly talk about in my videos. So why, so why is that important? Because what we did on the policy team, because Sim was actually the smart guy, and he was also the guy that was leading the policy team. Basically, our task was to make sure that we try to figure out how to make a high APY project sustainable, right? So I don't want to get too much into the technicals, but basically, if you remember the old Titano fork project called Palace Finance, which completely screwed everything up, they made the exact same mistake we did at Metaverse Pro. So we created a situation where we had a very high APY with arbitrage, and then you have const and then basically you your project dies instantly because you created a mathematical system where you actually encourage everyone to keep dumping and then they profit from that. That's why it's called an arbitrage. And what it does is it's infinite sell pressure, right? So obviously the number one thing that Sim had to think about, and of course I talked to Sim about this when, you know, way back when, when we conceived of Sphere in the Discord DM, right? We had, we wanted to make sure that we don't make that same effing mistake. All right. So, and you're getting the effing benefit of that right now. Okay. So, and on top of that, Sim believes in God and he's actually a pretty stand up guy. So you guys are very, and guys and gals are very lucky that Sim created this thing. I'm very lucky, you know, like I'm able to pay my rent. All right. And pretty soon I'm looking into, if you follow my Twitter, I'm actually looking into setting up an offshore company because, you know, the taxes, like things are getting worse here in America. So, you know, I got to do things, you know, the way that Google and Amazon do their business, right? Because they set up offshore companies, too, to legally legally avoid taxes, all right? You can do the same thing, too. So I'm going to make a video on that, obviously, eventually. Because obviously, if you're in Sphere, you know, you're going to be making a lot of money. Uh, so, you know, you want to legally... So it doesn't matter where you are in the world, right? Right now, I'm looking... I think I'm going to wind up making my offshore company in... It's called, not the British Virgin Islands, that was the second choice. The first one is called the Cayman Islands, right? So long story short, your company actually owns all your money, your assets, your houses, your cryptocurrencies, etc., stocks. But you yourself, the individual, or my, in my case, Johnson Chen, me personally, the American citizen, we, I actually own nothing, all right? And it's just like what Klaus Schwab always says, right? You will own nothing and you will be happy. In this case, I actually will be because my company, my offshore company specifically, will be owning all of this stuff, including my sphere, of course, right? And, you know, I don't want to get into the whole thing, but it's relatively inexpensive, apparently. I think it's around four or $5,000, right? Not including the bank, account, the offshore bank account that you got to set up. And as long as your stuff remains in the offshore company, you don't transfer it to yourself personally, then you don't have to pay any tax. But if you do transfer it to yourself, you do have to report. In my case, you have to report that to the IRS, right? And so if you, and most of you probably live in Europe or the West, right? I call it the Western country, the, the degenerate evil Western nations. We all have taxes that you have to pay. So you have to pay that. But you don't want to pay it. Just have it, your offshore company do everything. So anyway, I don't want to get into the whole thing about that, but how long have I been rambling? 19 and a half minutes. Anyway, I'm giving you some world-class multi-million dollar lessons here for free. So, you know, you make sure you, very, you hit that subscribe button too, if you're, especially if you're new. Because uh, it's always funny to actually see things like this happen and then everyone just loses their shit. All right. So, yeah, I'm already seeing some buying pressure here, too. So that's good. So we so we might not even hit 3.75 cents on, uh, on Sphere. We might actually just settle at around 5. This thing is way too oversold. Anyway. Look at this. 
We're talking like two red candles, and the first red candle actually had a big bounce back. Oh, that's what this thin uh, candle wick is. I don't know. Like, like I always say, uh, people are stupid and they're emotional, and that's what, that's just how it goes. So anyway, if you look at uh, Titano, this is Titano. They're pretty much down sixty six percent, right? And now I'm actually finally seeing this. Look at how much green there is. Right now, even though I took it off the playlist, it's still a good project, right? Because I make it a policy not to try to really shit on other projects, right? But you know, seeing after how Titano has dropped a lot, now you can see all the buying pressure, right? It's gonna be the same shit here in Sphere. In fact, we might actually already be seeing it right now. I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm gonna hit the stop recording button, upload this to YouTube, you know, you know, dump it in the Sphere Discord. So, so. When I post this on the Sphere Discord, you better spread this video around, all right? Don't, don't be a selfish prick, and don't be lazy, all right? I can be lazy, but not you, all right? Obviously, don't spam and annoy people, of course, but, you know, you got, like, a Twitter, you got a Facebook or Reddit or whatever you use. Yeah, you know, post this video around because, um, well, first of all, you want Sphere to stabilize. That's why I'm making this video, but I rely on you, the people, to spread it around. Because the more that people know it, then the less we'll see things like, you know, people dumping all their sphere tokens and actually abandoning, really, the best project in the world, right? All right, one of the best projects in the world. So, so that's pretty much that. I forgot to talk about the fundamentals, but, I mean, I don't know. Sims kind of had his hands full, so it's kind of hard for me to find, like, an organized, centralized place to read everything. I know he recently hired some some uh, Wikipedia w wiki guy, right? Uh, so I'm hoping that, that that he's probably in charge of you know putting the info there. But you have the quantum liquidity as a service. I was able to finally try to figure out what that is, but basically you just pay Sphere, right? You pay Sim like a little bit of fee money, and then. I don't know, you do something with the... I already forgot. I need I need the wiki. I need the wiki, but I don't know. But basically, there's a lot of things that this project is doing that's far beyond everything else, right? It's com it's combining the curve wars, but they're becoming their own curve. They're buying other projects, yet they're actually having them... It's kind of complicated, but I just know that this thing is way, way undervalued, all right? Because Sim really knows what he's doing. Everyone is... He's basically turning Sphere into like a multifaceted version of like Curve, right? Which is well, there's Curve and what was the other one? Convex. That what the hell? Curve's not on here. Uh, how about Convex? All right, we'll use Convex then. Well, actually, I like Convex better anyway, right? Basically, when Metaverse Pro transitioned to Congru, we were looking a lot into Curve and Convex Finance, right? So Sim was in charge of this part, right? Because he because he's more mathematically and technically uh, capable than I am. So he's basically turning Sphere into this. That's all you need to know. Okay. You, hey, you want to be a multi-billion-dollar uh, cryptocurrency? All right. Well, you need well, hey, you need a lot of smart people, and you need someone who knows how to code that stuff. Well, you got it with Sphere, all right, because Sim knows what he's doing. Cur uh, Convex is worth 1.6 billion. Well, that's pretty low. I thought it was a lot higher. All right. Well, whatever. I mean, never, uh, I mean, if you don't know what Cur, I don't want to get into this either, but. Basically, these are governance tokens, and like in the specific case of Convex, they pay out like stable coins, so it's a very valuable token. And then basically, you can uh, what the Convex and Curve people do is they create a situation where you can get governance rights, and then with those governance rights, so basically you buy a bunch of Convex, you then use that voting power to vote for yourself to give yourself more uh, rewards. So instead of getting 25% a year, maybe you'll get 35% a year, right? Uh, they call it a bribe. So so what Sim's trying to do with Sphere is he's doing the exact same thing, but, you know, you you have to buy Sphere instead or something like Sphere, right? Whatever, you know, he's going to, you know, do. Now, in the meantime, he is buying other things. He's buying QI, I think, QI or Key, right? I think that's a governance token. I don't know what it is, but, he, but I remember... It was too complicated for me, and I got kicked out of the, 
Metaverse Pro policy team, right? But he's buying that up, and he bought a lot of Tetu, which is also another governance token too. So it's basically he's basically trying to replicate the whole thing, all right? So that's why you gotta have the you know get Sphere. So you know Titano's not doing that. All the other Titano forks are not doing that like at all. And the only project that reinvests their their treasury that I know of, I think, is Libero. And that project's really getting hit hard. Uh, I think Hybrid Finance said they were reinvesting their treasury. But I'm not invested in that project. And then High Point Finance is also reinvesting their treasury. But I don't know. I'm not even in the Discord anymore, so I don't know what's going on with that. But the price is pretty stable, so yeah. So anyway, well, it looks like I was a little wrong. Uh... But it does look like it's finally settling down, so hopefully we should... I mean, ideally, I would like to just see us settle at around $0.05, cents, right? And then we could, you know, form a nice little, like, consolidation bottom uh, in these candles. On top of that, you have to also take into consideration, it's a three-day weekend, right? Cryptocurrencies are always, like... There's a reason why I don't like holidays, because crypto always goes to shit on holidays, all right? Corrections are very common during holidays, right? Because it starts a chain reaction. Oh, hey, guess what? What do we just have? All right. <laughs> so anyway, corrections are normal. You have to accept, the, uh, expect them. And in fact, they're actually healthy, unfortunately. All right. So you're just gonna have to take the pain. All right. Just like Saint, like Peter did in the Bible. And um, once corrections are over, they go much higher. Because because markets and whatever's don't ever go straight up, and they don't go straight down. It's like a step, right? Like a staircase. A staircase that goes up when the price action's up, and a staircase going down when the overall market price action is going down. So basically, towards bankruptcy. So, uh, well, I mean, I mean that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm probably gonna wind up rambling or saying the same thing over and over again. And I don't know. I don't. Did he actually DM me the? Um, no, he did not. Okay. Yeah, I was checking to see if Sin sent me the graphics, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. So anyway, uh, I mean, I guess it's now uh, obviously not financial advice, but you're looking again in the sphere. Five cents is pretty reasonable. Uh, if you want, maybe you want to take a gamble and then maybe wait a little bit and see if it drops any further. That could very well happen. But we'll have to see. I mean, this thing is, uh, I mean, it's finding pretty hard not to drop below five cents, but, you know, we'll see. Anyway, I'm done for the day. I've rambled on long enough. Actually, far longer than I thought I was going to. And yeah, me seeing Titano actually kind of maybe recovering a little bit, you know. And we're going into an actual trading day later tonight in about six, seven hours because it'll be Monday morning in Japan. And then uh, us idiots here in America, right, in the Western Hemisphere, we'll be waking up, you know, tomorrow. So things should be back to normal, right. But in the meantime, I'm not expecting anything crazy to happen until May 4th, right? May the 4th be with you for you Star Wars fans, all right? Because the Federal Reserve, all right, they are the real world government, all right? They're the ones that actually determine whether you're going to get rich or not, okay? Or whether you're going to get poor. So, and of course, I'll be live streaming that too, so. But I think by then, I mean, Sphere sh should easily be, you know, back to whatever. You know, I can't imagine Sim doing actually something catastrophic. I mean, anything's possible, of course, but... Yeah, but you know we got it's just, it's just how it goes. So anyway, like, subscribe, share the this video, uh, especially if you're in the Sphere community, because you want you want this correction to get over with. You better spread my video around. All right, help me help you. All right, because I also have because my all my almost the vast majority of money that I'm I'm making so far is coming from Sphere. So obviously I do want my Sphere to be back at like eleven cents, and then plows on its merry little way over to like twenty five and fifty cents and a dollar. All right. So anyway, uh, oh, and that's the other thing, too. That guy that Sim recently hired that does the what's his name? Kato Tenma wiki contributor. He actually said that he's down seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> that's pretty extreme. He's still holding. All right. Well, thank God for us. I mean, he kind of has to hold. 
But lucky for him, you know, he's not getting in on Metaverse Pro, so he's not going to suffer the same kind of problem that we, that Sim and I had to suffer through. So you people are very lucky, all right? You guys are very, very lucky. Guys and gals, that is. And yeah, I mean, uh, I don't understand. Why is there such a huge price differential with such small numbers? Yeah. I don't know, but either way, uh, we'll see how this goes. Oh, God, these giant red candles. Uh, did Titanic even have that kind of crazy drop? Yeah, there was actually a period of time where they dropped for five days in a row from 10.3. Yeah, they dropped from 18.1 cents to 10.3 cents, and then it dropped even further. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah, maybe we should get Jordan Belfort to actually buy Sphere, too, because he actually said that he's actually buying Titano, or he's already holding Titano. So we need to get Jordan Belfort. If you don't know who he is, that's the wolf, the actual Wolf of Wall Street. Like, you know the, the Leonardo DiCaprio movie that won the Academy Award, right? Wolf of Wall Street. That actually is the real life, with a little bit of embellishment probably, story of Jordan Belfort, all right? So, and then Jordan, like, went to jail for, like, you know, whatever, so... Jesus Christ, 435.5K. I guess we'll end it on this. I don't like to end on a down note, but I mean, I'm just, I'm very curious to see. Because I also like seeing what people actually do with their money. So, this guy has also abandoned uh, Sphere. Yeah, so it's just, uh, I mean, I can't say the word because it might be technically considered racist, but I'm actually kind of surprised a lot of uh, people actually say it all over. <laughs> But yeah, it, it, it's the uh, diamond hands from certain types of countries. I, I'll say it that way. So yeah, so he abandoned Sphere. All right. Well, that's just how it goes. So you'll probably see more of, the, uh, of these clowns. But don't worry, you know, once this thing does bottom out, I mean, you're going to have the same thing that Titano, funny enough, is now experiencing. So yeah. Anyway, I'm done. I'll see you all tomorrow. Got a lot of projects to talk about. And also, and also, I found out a good way to actually find other projects, which really just boils down to me just subscribing to a few other YouTubers and stealing their content ideas, and then I just do the same thing. <laughs> so, yeah, but it's good because I actually found good projects that I like because of these other YouTubers. So it's it's uh it works out pretty well. You know, I'm especially big into these minor projects these days. So um, yeah. All right. Anyway, try not to panic. However, uh, you know, you want to wait out Sphere's correction because it's obviously ongoing, right? I mean, I already calculated that it should be around 3.75 cents. So we got another penny and a quarter, unfortunately. So, all right. Well, that's how it goes. But really, Sphere at like 3.75 cents, you're literally just stealing Sphere at that point. So, all right. Well, whatever. You know, the... the, the Diamond, the, no, the paper hands will cry when this shit goes to a dollar, so, yeah. And this one's different from 2 ohm and 3 ohm because I understand the fundamentals here. I don't understand the fundamentals of Tomb Forks at the time. Now I do. I also know that Tomb Forks as a concept are just inherently very, very unstable. So, wow, 24 hours, minus 37.36%. That's pretty, uh, it's pretty nutty. Yeah, I still see. Yeah, so the, for the most part, it's just a couple people who are abandoning the project that are actually causing the big price action. Everything else actually looks fine. So, yeah. All right, well, better hold out another 24 hours, though. Hmm. Yeah. You know, this is actually not a lot of sphere, and you actually get a lot of money for it. That's how big this project is. Let's see. Did you abandon sphere? Uh... Yes, you did. Yeah, because you're, you're, I don't see your thing in here. Yeah, so we had another person that just uh, dumped his sphere. Panic, 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 panic. Uh, oh, well. What are you going to do? See you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, I already said spread the video around. Thanks. Wow, 34 minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah. Oh, well.